Hello! Hello, Movie Club! I'm back again. It's Mark W. Gray with Emily Irwin, what, Fiona what? Gray, and Noah Gray right here in the upstairs bedroom, which has the forest. Ah. Nice, huh? Okay. <laughs> it's been a while since we did a Movie Club review like this. Didn't like the horror movies. Kind of too busy doing lots of other stuff. But Grease, I thought, boy, it does not hold up, Grease. Okay, okay. let's start with the synopsis. Okay. Grease was a Broadway play about the 1950s that was made in the 1970s. It's a musical. And then it became a movie starring John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John, who are big, big stars in the 70s mm -hmm. and kind of still are a bit today, right? Yeah. Okay. Story of Danny Zuko, who is a greaser. He's got greasy hair. And he has a leather jacket, and he's part of a gang called the T-Birds. <laughs> and they go to Rydell High, and there's this exchange student who he's met over the summer named Sandy. Yeah. Who's the Sandy. blonde and beautiful Olivia and John, the Australian. And they have a sweet romance in the opening scene before the credits. The whole school year, senior year, is them kind of on again, off again, their relationship. But he comes together. That's pretty much the whole... Plot, yeah, right? He, yeah. She comes and talks to him, and then he's all, he acts all like cool and Because around her, he's all kind of a nice boyfriend, but yeah. then around his friends, he's a dick. He's a, you know, yeah. Yeah. grease. So, hey, forget about it. Kind <laughs> of like, I don't know. I don't know you. You know, yeah. kind of a jerk. Everyone's kind of mean. I don't think this film would make it today based on how poorly the plot is constructed. You know, yeah. there's just not enough happens in it. I mean, it's fun because the songs are fun and the yeah. dances yeah. are fun. Great music. And it does straight up like Broadway style musical numbers. Like they're, yeah. they're, in, the, they're in the auto shop in school fixing this car and, then it, and it like flips to like this total white silver. void and they're all kind of in Grease or oh, heaven, God. like and dancing Lady around this car. Video. Go grease lighting, go, go da 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 da. Grease lighting, go grease lighting. It's fun to see young, kind of cute, twenty-year-old John Travolta. You know, but boy, is this film dated. <laughs> Boy. Boy. Oh, I mean, yeah. the opening credits, there's animated credits. Oh, they're terrible. Oh. But they weren't done nice. They looked like third string schoolhouse rock, you know, without any yeah. skill. Uh -huh. With that kind of 70s sloppiness that seemed and there's kind of like hip. No sensical, like, way in which they're put together. They're just, like, random, like, animated images of things from the 50s and 60s. Terrible opening credit sequence. Terrible. And then it gets into big Hollywood. Uh, glamour yeah. post-production. I like the look of the film. I like yeah. the way that, like, all the costumes and the cars. I think it looks really cool. Yeah. It does look really cool. But what would you say about the message of the film? I the, don't like the message The moral of the, of the story is be a slut and you get the guy. About halfway through, like, you think that the, what the end is going to be is that John Travolta's character, who, like, doesn't really kind of accept his feelings when he's around his friends, at the end of the movie is going to accept himself and be nice to Sandy and everything's going to be happy. And become but, a self-actualized Yeah, and yeah. he's going to change right. for her. But really, the end is that Sandy changes for him and becomes kind of this awesome. slutty... This slutty, per, you know, kind of Jesus platonic what? ideal <laughs> of 1950s bad girl, <laughs> slutty, will screw yeah. you girl, you know. Mm -hmm. Danny Zuko, it's, not, it's like you think he's struggling between I want to be a nice guy and be a human being for her, and I have my friends who I, this is the life I know. Not really, but like he gives her his class ring. He's really just trying to get into her pants. Yeah. And she's like, I know you respect me now. He goes, he goes yeah. Ugh. Like, oh, like, damn it. Yeah, now, you see what <laughs> like, like, Not the result I had wanted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's rejected him, but then she tries to win him back at the end. It just doesn't the, the, it is make not sense. Well Screenwriting, well. people. Screenwriting. Yeah. Plant and pay it off. You can't just have like a funny thing happen. Another funny thing happened, song. Mm -hmm. So in the end, actually, um, Danny Zuko does, like by graduation, he's got a Letterman sweater, he's lettered in track now without his friends even knowing it for some reason. Yeah. Or having it be a part and, of the movie. And he's kind of going, guys, yeah, come on, we can't hang around funny. forever, you know. Kind of off screen, he made this transition we didn't even see, where he's going to kind of be a normal, nice guy now. But before he gets a chance to even do that, here comes Sandy, who has had a complete personality and visual makeover. Yeah. From like the girl in the puffy skirt, with blonde to like big bushy blonde hair and the tight pants and smoking yeah. a cigarette and wearing red pumps and he is floored by this. He is completely he's, he's like the doing floor. weird crawly. He thing. actually he whips off the Letterman sweater and throws it aside. <laughs> and like all with the her. change that was off screen that once mattered now doesn't. Yeah, this yeah. moment of sort of of sort of of sort of modern human, human being that he's going to be yeah. and be able to be a smart guy now and try things thrown away right. because Sandy decided to buy in to his ideal of uh, of this sort of girls are sluts and for having sex with and guys are for fighting mm -hmm. with and racing your car with and you know that's it i got chills they're multiplying and i'm losing control as a player you're 
falls to flying. It's electrifying. It falls over. Okay. Better shape up. Do, do, do. Cause, Cause I, I need, need a man. man. Cause my heart is set on you. Cause she's saying you better shape up because I need a man and my heart's set on you. But she's the one who's changed. See? Yeah. Cognitive dissonance. <sighs> right? You with me? Yep. All right. Oh, by the way, another flaw. Out. Teenagers. Everyone looked about 30 years old. Yeah. Yes. Child, everyone uh, from 30 to about 50. That's I'm so glad I don't look like I'm 30 years old. See, she actually yeah, is 30 years old, though. <laughs> yeah. That's the weird part. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Arctic Sea, they have a big drag race in the... Uh, oh, and Kaniki, who is uh, Danny Zuko's best friend, is challenged by this other bad gang, which seems like no worse than them, really. Yeah. Except so, for that guy's ugly. He's so he, like but, he has, but he has acne scars. Crater face. So they call him Crater Face. Also very kind. Not a lot of love in this culture. Not a lot. If they had Accutane back then, he would have probably been, uh, he'd probably been on the chess club. So there's a drag race that they're racing down the L.A. River, incredibly dangerous. Yeah. And then it's halfway through, they look, and he's got giant Ben-Hur spikes on his hubcaps. And they weren't there before. I was like, did we see those before? <laughs> no, no one like went, dude, are those okay? No one like, <laughs> <laughs> was like, there are spikes no spikes on his car. Is, <laughs> is this cool? Should we? So uh, what else about Greece can we say? Office mm. space was better. Yeah, that's one of like two movies we watched this week. Yeah, we watched Office Space, which is so great. great. Let's so just cool. talk about Office movie Space. Movie Club for Office Space. <laughs> Steve Zaragoza, you know us. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Steve. Hi, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hi, Steve. We, so. ran into, we ran into Steve Zaragoza last night at the They Might Be Giants concert. Yeah. Here's a picture right here of, uh, of us all of having fun. Yay. Which is funny because I've been seeing Steve a lot lately because oh, we've been pants. doing some videos together and doing some other stuff. So, pals. We're Valley Pals. One of my favorite songs is Beauty School Dropout, which is so, it's so unneeded. It's, it's, so, like, this side character, yeah. like, goes to beauty school and then drops out because she's not good and her hair is pink and she looks really cute. And then she's alone in the diner and it gets all dark. And there's, like, sparkly light on her face and there's a sparkly, really cheesy special effect. And there's, like, who is it? Her guardian angel, Frankie Avalon, who was a real 50s star. Comes so, out and sings to her. But he sings that she's a loser and should drop out. It's really, I think it's a really funny song. Yeah. I because, hate it when my guardian angel tells me to quit. But, I think that's a sign of low self-esteem if your imaginary friends just insult you all the time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Movie Club, thanks for watching. Like Bye. and subscribe. These guys all have their own YouTube channels. Boom, 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 boom. And on Instagram. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? Hey. Follow all those things. Like and subscribe. <laughs> These aren't the droids you're looking for. You will like and subscribe. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>